Hey, I bitches, my name is freaking stressed right now because yesterday I recorded a video. It was the same type of video. I cooked a pumpkin pie, banana bread, mashed potatoes, the whole Thanksgiving meal. And I forgot to turn that mic on. That thing right there, that thing that makes audio real wasn't there. And as much as I want to do a voiceover, because I'm home, I didn't bring my mic with me. And I didn't realize AirPod microphones are actually Terrible app. We should work on that. But I had a choice either I freak out be sad like last week and not upload because I was too dramatic or I make another version get this video out later and have it be better So we're gonna be making some chocolate chip cookies But first I'm going to cover my head because I got a haircut and I'm insecure about it And second I just want to say if you want to support me make sure to buy my Christmas merch because it's still currently on sale And it's gonna stop being on sale tomorrow get it while you can because it's 15% off right now And some things are 30% off and it's a good way to support creators also hit the notification bell because only 4% of y'all are getting notifications That ain't right. I see you not clicking the bell button right now. Go click it click it all right now let's start. I have made chocolate chip cookies for about two years now, and they've always been vegan because I wouldn't want to die. So I thought, why not make some chocolate chip cookies today for my family before I leave, and so I can bring some home back to college. But also because chocolate chip cookies are just like the best comfort food in my opinion. I mean, you see the title. I know a lot of us are going through that time of year. I mean, November has never been my year, and we can talk about that. This is going to be a talk show today. I'm giving you Food Network quality, okay? Hi, I'm Reed Drummond. Welcome to my cooking show, where all I do is make fatty things with butter in them. Okay, so I'm gonna take this original recipe. It's the family tradition. It's on the back of a Wegmans chocolate chip bag. This should take one hour. I would- I want one hour to do this, okay? Because yesterday took six, and I'm tired of that. Baking soda. No, this is not cocaine. My mom just likes these cups. Vanilla extract. Salt. Secret ingredient. Maple syrup. Some butter. Coconut oil spray. Two large eggs. White sugar. Brown sugar. Where did my mom put the flour? Tell me why my mom has the flour in a plastic bag. Oh, two plastic bags, actually. Measuring things. Liquid cup measure. Two large mixing bowls. Silicone. Thing and an electric hand mixer. All right, first step, I'm gonna warm up the butter because she's a little solid right now. Just, just five seconds. Let's do ten seconds actually. Oh, how can I forget my trusty chopsticks? All right, so get your bowl. We're going to put in one cup of butter. Oh, this is like half melted butter, half. That is. Oh, one more thing of butter. God. That's so much fat. Holy shit. My hands are now moisturized. Next, you're gonna put in two large eggs. Watch, it's very easy. One hit. Crack. Don't squeeze it over the freaking bowl like a maniac. There's a level of poise to my cooking. Welcome to my cooking show. This is why Food Network should sponsor me. And then you're gonna put in the sugar. So one cup brown sugar. Firmly pack it, by the way. If you don't know what that means, you just wanna literally pack it in. Okay, next up, we're gonna get one cup of granulated sugar. Wegmans, you might as well sponsor me too, because this is from your store. So, while I'm here, let's talk about why I'm going through my seasonal depression right now. November has not, is not, and will never be my month, I've realized. Let me know if you can relate. I think my November crisis has started since sophomore year. I was dating someone who wasn't good for me at the time. Come junior year, I was dating someone who wasn't good for me at the time. And then senior year, I got broken up with. And now, I'm suddenly not liking the idea of being single again. Maybe it's a pattern, I don't know. Ever think about that, Frederick? Nope. Another thing that's happened to me in November, I always got insecure about my YouTube, but that's like every other day, so I can't really blame that on November. But I find it so weird that every year, my boy troubles start in November, and they end by January. So this year, I'm just thinking, you know what, I'm gonna wait it out. I don't wanna deal with this shit. I just need to not let it get to my head because every other time it has. Oh, by the way, last year in November was also the time when I was not completely over my ex. I mean, he was like my first real boyfriend, so I'm still not over him. We're on good terms, but there's always the first love problems, you know? Okay, there are chunks of butter in here that I cannot seem to fix. You're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Oh, this is maple syrup. Well, you're gonna add like 
two teaspoons of maple syrup because that's a secret ingredient I like. Teaspoon of vanilla extract. Maybe some more maple syrup. Just a little more. Because this says use two tablespoons of water and you know what? I don't believe in that. I think you need like one tablespoon. And now it smells like alcohol and sugar. Like, can you get drunk off of... Don't do this, by the way. There's 41% alcohol in here. You could easily die from drinking too much of that. All right, so now you're gonna beat this until it's well incorporated because the butter is being stupid and it's starting to, what's this word? Coagulate, turn solid again, emulsify. You know what, I don't know the word. But if you ever feel like the silicone spatula isn't enough, just go hardcore. And push the sides back in. Ooh, that tastes good. Ooh. So once you feel like it's mixed enough, hit the eject button. You're probably gonna need that again, actually. Whatever. Now, in another mixing bowl, you're gonna start putting your dry ingredients in. Not the sugar, because you need that to be inside the butter. Because butter dissolves sugar. Uh, some science. So, two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. One teaspoon baking soda. One teaspoon of salt. And this should be all of the ingredients. Now you're just gonna whisk this together using chopsticks, of course. While we're doing this, let's just talk about other things that have been going on in my life. I'm pretty sure you've all seen my podcast video. Thank you, by the way, for the immense support on that video. I didn't honestly did not expect that many people to be so accepting and understanding of it. I just want to clarify, I did not do that video purposely to make people feel bad for not watching me. It is not your fault for not wanting to watch me or not having the time. You do not need to be sorry about that. It's all on me. Like, it's just my interpretation of the numbers. So don't feel bad. Please, I don't want people to feel bad. Okay, once that's done, you're gonna slowly start incorporating it into here. I've been watching Gossip Girl. Love that show. I know it's so surprising. I, of all people, have not watched it. It kind of triggers me because some of the stuff I relate to too easily. My favorite character is Eric, by the way. I think we all know why. Other than that, though, if anyone is going through their own seasonal depression right now, it'll pass. It's seasonal for a reason. And I really wasn't a believer in it until you know, researching more into it, taking psychology as a class, and realizing that this is very common. I try not to admit it's a thing in my life though because it, I don't want it to be an excuse. I don't want to use it as an excuse for being sad or like lashing out on people and being upset. Because as long as I'm aware of it personally, I know that I can be more aware of my feelings. I don't care how you deal with it, I'm just telling you how I deal with it. And if I could give high school advice to anyone right now, because I feel like a lot of you are in the same boat. If you're a senior applying for college, literally it's fine. Like, don't worry about the college essay too much. Do not fear your SAT scores. A number does not define you, it depends on you as a person, okay? I currently go to NYU and like some of my friends, we all have different SAT scores. And guess what? None of us talk about it because it doesn't matter where we came from. It matters who we are now. And I definitely was part of that group that was like really, you know, anxious about my SAT. I wish I had someone who could just straight up tell me, Frederick, don't worry about it. And I know you have friends who are in your same grade who always try to say that, but like they're in the same grade. They, they haven't gone to college yet. They can't tell you that. I'm telling you right now. I got into one college with a 1540 SAT. Calm down, okay? I did only apply to six though, so that is another reason why. And they were all Ivies. Yeah, that, that's the reason why. That is because I was stupid. I didn't apply to more because I didn't really care. And if you care about your education, I highly suggest you apply to 10 colleges just to be safe. It's much more better. That being said, I want everyone to apply to NYU because NYU is my favorite school. The city is my campus. But no, it's a good school if you like New York City. Okay, I'll clean that up later. It's snowing already, you guys. And yes, I've been doing this for about like 10 minutes now because I'm such a slow, meticulous mixer. I have to make sure every piece, every molecule of flour has been fully incorporated into this freaking mixture. So my cookies mean everything to me. By the way, we are gonna be putting in the dark chocolate morsels. This is 70%, by the way. If I really wanted to be fancy right now, I would mix my candy cane Hershey Kisses with this, but I'm too lazy to get those. Or I can mix Kit Kats. I do have those. No, I don't feel like chopping up Kit Kats. Okay, that's all the mixture in. Man, I don't know if I should put Kit Kats or not. This is really confusing now. Okay, fine, I'll put in some Kit Kats. You've convinced me. Hope everyone's Thanksgiving was okay. I really wish I could show you guys the pumpkin pie video, but that can be another Frederick's Asian Kitchen because it was pretty hectic. I mean, I cooked three things in one video. My mashed potatoes were bomb. I'm basically marriage quality at this point. So once it gets about this texture, I'd say if you can hold it and not have it like instantly slip off, like that is staying on pretty well, you're good. Now we're gonna add these chocolate chips, the whole bag, all of it. And that's when you gotta really just get in there and mix. It looks like a lot, 
but trust me, it'll be fine in the end. Holy shit, there's not gonna be any room for Kit Kats in this. But am I still gonna do it? Of course I am. I got a whole bag because no one showed it to our doorstep for Halloween. So I'm just gonna... Ah, got it. It's your cutting board. I think I'm gonna use eight Kit Kats. 10 Kit Kats. Oh my God, this is gonna take so long. You know what? I'm just gonna time lapse this. All right, so because I have a brain now, in order to not create a mess, I'm gonna put them in this cup and I'm just gonna mash it from this cup. Change of plans. Because I have a brain now. We're gonna put in a Ziploc bag, crush it in the bag, and then put it in the batter. The way I can just do it like this. This is how you let out everything that's been hurting you lately, guys. Ready? This is for my grades. This is for the essay that I got a B plus on. Don't worry, I got an A after. This is for my B plus on my midterm. Even though I completely deserved it. This is for being single. This is for that guy who broke up with me. The other guy who broke up with me. And the one I broke up with. I actually need a hammer. Hold on. <gasps> oh shit. 200 IQ. This is an amazing idea. NYU, this is what you got, okay? Like, aren't you proud? You are so lucky to have a genius like me in the kitchen. Okay, so some pieces are flying everywhere because I know I popped a hole in some point. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so once they're like basically crumbs, one splash of water, just a little. This smells delectable. Like, absolutely delicious. Holy crap, these are gonna taste amazing. I just know it already. Guys, this is that positive mindset for 2020. All right, so because I'm a clean freak, take two disposable gloves. Oh, empty out your oven first. See, look, there's always there's always stuff in here. <gasps> Shit, I, I threw it away. I don't know the instructions now. Bake 12 to 15 minutes, uh, preheat to, what? 375. I never understood the point of preheating. If anyone wants it. You're hungry. My chocolate chip cookies are not oh, done. Oh yeah, sure. We're gonna see you though. I don't care. Oh, she doesn't care. This is my sister, everyone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no makeup. No makeup. You don't need makeup. Oh. Yeah. So nice. <laughs> These are probably gonna turn into squares. Oh. 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 What'd you do? <laughs> What'd you do? Talking spoon. Ew. <gasps> oh. I didn't spray it. <laughs> Oh, oh, I don't think I need to, right? Okay. No, this has so much butter in it. And I put Kit Kats in here. Wow. Yeah. The Wegmans bag. <laughs> this set makes 36 cookies and I made 15. 20. Okay, once you're done, you take off your gloves like the medicinal way. And I'm just gonna wait for this to preheat. Much later. Whew. It's ready. And then bake to 12 minutes. 12 minutes, okay? Yeah, 12 minutes. Or 15 if you want them crunchy. Which no, no. one likes. No, no one likes stop. crunchy. I gotta clean everything up now. Much, much later. Cookies are done. Wow. I'm gonna wait for them to cool down first. <laughs> yeah, these look a little square. I'm the best chef in the world. I am the Asian Gordon Ramsay. If anyone wants the recipe, it's in the description. So this is the end of the video. I'm not gonna read a coming out story because I keep forgetting to do them. As always, I keep these anonymous, but these are just to inspire you. So I think it all started in sixth grade when I liked two people, which their names are gonna be Bob and Patricia. I sat near both of them and had the biggest crush on them at the time. I was too scared to tell them. Flash forward to the end of sixth grade to when I finally asked my friend what it meant to like both girls and boys. He told me it was bisexual. I questioned what he meant at first and then I realized I was right. He was right, but I left out the bullying I got because of personal reasons, but there are a lot of anti-LGBTQ people in my school. Let's just say what has happened to me has made me more sensitive and insecure about myself, but thank you for being an inspiration to me and everything is less than three. Well, to this person, I'm sorry that happened to you, but thank you for sharing your story, and I love you. Bake some cookies, they make you feel better. Hey, Jay, come. Okay. That's gonna be the end of the video. If you enjoyed, give it a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos every week. I love you guys. Oh! <laughs> I love you guys, and everything is less than three. Yeah, I'm cruel, What? No, I am. <laughs>